we are going on a field trip. Well, I am going on a field trip because there's nobody else on the bus. Wow, odd world. I'm sure this is going to be fun and educational and not at all disastrous. It's this way. Wow, a shadow. <gasps> they changed the sign. Uh-oh, I think they might be trying to trick us. Let's see if it works. Uh, yeah, it, it seems to have worked. Okay, heading into the unknown. Sure hope there's nothing terrifying in the unknown. I'm sure it'll be just fine. Um, was that a crash? Oh my gosh, the bus is on fire. <gasps> Am I okay? Hey, what's happening here? Is somebody dragging me to safety? I wonder who it is. I need to wake up so I can thank them. Wait a second. Welcome. I need your help. Hey, no problem, mysterious shadowy figure. What do you need help with? Help with your alphabet blocks? Well, I guess I can help you with those. Wait a second. There's some strange noises happening. Oh no, what happened to the alphabet blocks? My blocks fell over. All you have to do is find them and put them back. Ah yes, a little tidy up. Good luck. Hmm, well I gotta say, this is the most unusual of circumstances. But I guess you did save me from a burning bus, so the least I can do is help you find your blocks. And look, here's a bunch of them now. Why does it say blocks found zero out of 24 when I am blatantly picking up blocks all over the place? I've got like three blocks already. But you know what? No problem. I'll just keep looking for blocks. After all, I am kind of returning a favor for someone who saved me from a burning bus. I think. Okay. Music starting to get a little bit scary. Ooh, look, I'm back here. Maybe I can return some of these blocks to where they're supposed to be. Ooh, no escape. That's a little bit scary. Perhaps not what I would personally choose to scrawl on the wall, but uh, that's okay. Um, oh, look, we can put all of these blocks back here where they belong. What's that noise? Scary noises. Oh my gosh, it's blue. It's one of the rainbow friends. Okay, we gotta get out of here. Apparently, Blue is not happy with the fact that I am returning the blocks. Stomping all over the place like a cranky rainbow friend. Ooh, I think, I think the footsteps stopped. Okay, I might have escaped Blue for now. Whoa, look at this place. This is like a medieval castle. There's even a moat and everything. You know, if it wasn't for the terrifying rainbow friends trying to chase me down and scare the actual socks off of me, I would say that this is a pretty cool place. Maybe even somewhere that I would go on a field trip. I'm gonna put some more blocks down. Let's see if that annoys Blue. Oh no, he doesn't seem to be here. Cool, all right, well that's dope. Blocks found, 12 out of 24. I have half of the blocks, more than half of the blocks. 13. She's on the hunt. She is going to find more blocks and, oh my gosh, is that blue? <gasps> hide, 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 hide. Um, a me? Oh me, I'm just a dice. I'm not an intruder, I'm just an innocent dice. Standing in the corner. Okay, I don't think he saw me. Okay, he is lumbering away. Making those weird chuckle noises. Okay, do you think if I find all the blocks, they'll let me get out of here? Got another one to add to the pile. Does feel nice to do a little bit of a tidy up. Get all the blocks. Oh my gosh, he saw me. I'm a dice, I'm a dice, I'm a dice. You're imagining things, I'm just a dice. Yeah, see? You didn't see anything. There's no one here. Yeah, just keep walking. I'm but a dice with feet. An inanimate object with shoes. Okay, I think it's safe. Actually obsessed with my dice of safety. Honestly, like a dream come true. I can disappear when it gets scary. Got some more blocks for block drop off. Every time I come here, I am worried that I am going to run into blue. Only five more blocks to go though. Gotta say, that is pretty good. Okay, there he is. You saw nothing. I'm not here. I'm not here. Do you think he's gonna notice that the dice is moving around? Oh my gosh, did he see me? He did see me? Oh, oh, oh. Oh my gosh. That was a close one. What happens if one day Blue decides to lift up the dice and look what's underneath? What then? I've only got five more blocks to go and it looks like three of them might be in here. <gasps> yes, found some blocks. Ooh, creepy little cutout of Blue. Wait, are those footsteps? Is he coming? Maybe I should get my dice just in case. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my gosh, that was so close. That scared the bejesus out of me. Okay, I think I'm safe now. Got my blocks. Just gotta get back to theater. Follow the blue arrows. Okay, but he's out here though. Ah. Uh, okay, obviously it's scary, but I am not getting out of here until I find all of these blocks. So I just gotta return them to the theater. I gotta get out of here. There's only two more to go. I'm getting so close. Honestly, every time the scary music starts, I just cannot help myself. I have to become the dice. Just retreat to the safety of the dice. We're safe inside of the dice. Nothing can hurt us inside of the dice. I 
thought I heard footsteps. Oh yeah, they're there. And there's Blue. That's cool. You just keep on skulking around, bud, through the door. Me? I've only got two blocks left to find. And I think they're over this way. Okay, I really, really hope that when I find these last two blocks, I can leave. There they are. The last two blocks. I've got them. Okay, let's take them to theater. Whoa. Scary, 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 scary. Ah! Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt you there. Um, I don't need to return the blocks now. I can actually do it anytime. Maybe I'll just hide in a dice. Oh no, my block's sticking out. Do you think the blue will be able to see my block? Okay, there he is. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my gosh, he walked right through me. Okay, that was unexpected. Okay, I think he went in the opposite direction. I can get to the theater now. Just gonna return my blocks. And cool. You gonna let me out of here? Thanks. Hopefully Blue didn't get too many of you. Well, it's just me here, actually. I know what you're thinking. It's a bit strange. A field trip of one, but... Oh my gosh, what's that? Okay. That's a arm. A tentacle-like arm. And okay, I think it's green. Great. Another rainbow friend that I have to evade. When will my shadowy friend release me? Get some rest. You'll need it for tomorrow. Tomorrow? Wait, do I have to do this all again? But I collected all your blocks. I've already done it. I've done what you've asked. Why won't you release me? Oh, a uh, security camera. Well, that's reassuring. Okay, I might get some rest in the only place that I feel safe. Inside my dice. Yeah, there we go. I feel safe inside my dice. And the next night is already starting. Well, I can't say that I got a whole lot of rest. That noise? Sounds like Green is awake. I think he knows you're in there. No need to worry about him, though. He's blind. How can he catch you if he can't see you? Well, when you put it that way, I do feel like I've got a little bit of an advantage. But you know what? I am still suspicious. This might not be as easy as you're making it seem, shadowy figure. Oh, wow. Now I'm looking for food packs. If it wasn't enough that I help clean up all the toys, now I gotta find pack lunches for everybody? This is just ridiculous. But obviously, I do want to get out of here, and I want to make sure that everybody, Rainbow Friends included, have a nutritious, delicious lunch. So fine, Shadowy Figure, I will find your food packs, I will return them to the theater or wherever, and hopefully, I will not get um, chased by Rainbow Friends while I'm doing it. I like how this game has the logic of like a weird dream where I'm like running around a facility being chased by monsters and all I'm trying to do is deliver them a packed lunch. I'm like, does anybody want this peanut butter jelly sandwich? Hello monsters, if you're interested, I have a fruit cup. Oh, maybe I take them this way. Uh, uh, uh. Find food packs and take them back to the theater. Follow the blue arrows. Okay, no problem. I've got the packed lunches for everyone. Feeling a little bit nervous that I haven't actually run into anyone yet. Ooh, lots of pack lunches. Lots of pack lunches. Okay, anyone in here ready to jump out at me? I've got sandwiches. Would you not attack me if you knew that I had fruit roll-ups? Trade offer. I've got pizza bagels. I've got Mr. Noodle. I've got, okay, it sounds like there's someone coming. I might just hop in my box just in case. And oh, yep, there's blue. There's something about the way that he moves that's really scary to me. And also the fact that, yeah, he's going to walk through me. Yeah, he's walking through me again. At least I'm safe inside my box. <laughs> if I could just do the entire game in my box, I probably would. I'm starting to get like a little bit freaked out that I haven't even seen green yet. Although I'm sure he's coming at some point and I don't even know what he sounds like. Got some more food packs. Time to feed up the weird hamster feeders. It actually just looks like pellets. It's kind of like when you go feed the kangaroos and you get like that weird bag of pellets. I guess that's what rainbow friends like to eat. Uh oh. No, don't chase me. I'm the one who's bringing all your delicious tasty pellets. Without me, who will refill the hamster feeder? Just think about it. Think logically. Oh, might just stay inside the dice for a minute longer. Yeah, that's cool. You just look around. I, I've disappeared completely. Essentially turned out to be a huge task finding all of these food packets, and I kind of feel like I've been hired for like the weirdest pet sitting gig of all time. It's like, yeah, we'd like you to feed our pets, but our pets are actually monsters, and the food is hidden all around this terrifying facility. Oh, and while you're looking for the food, our pet slash monsters, oh, they'll be trying to chase you down. 
Oh yeah, and we won't be paying you uh, because you are trapped here. So, thanks. Okay, bye. Seriously, worst pet sitting job ever. But I am nothing if not diligent, and I am filling up those hamster containers the best I can. And there's only one more food packet to find. Last one. Okay, if this doesn't make the monsters happy, I don't know what will. Here we go, full pellets. Come and get it. Tasty, tasty pellets. Who wants some? Okay, that's a claw. That's definitely a claw. Mmm, pellets. That's a surprise. Orange left his cave. Maybe he smelled the food. That's all the things I get. If anyone needs me, I'll be inside my dice. Okay, I don't mean to be a complainer, but I am cleaning up. I am feeding the monsters. I am putting in the work, and I am chronically unappreciated. Trapped in this weird facility? Tonight's the last night. After you fix my machine, I'll show you why you're really here. After I fix your machine, so now I'm on maintenance duties as well? Hmm, why did the vents start leaking? I mean, not to state the obvious, but the upkeep on this place. I mean, it's, it's fallen into, shall we say, a disrepair. But you know what? Fine. I will help you fix your machine, whatever machine that is. 14 fuses. Wow. Okay. Sure. Um, You've got to be a little bit more careful, I think, with where you leave your fuses. Just leaving them scattered all over the facility. That's not a great approach. But since I'm trapped here with basically no other hope of escape, I guess I will help you. I will help you find the fuses, and I will help you fix this machine. I don't know what's up with the vents, though. That might be something that you have to look after yourself. Uh-oh. What's that noise? Doesn't sound like blue. Sounds like someone else. I might just, might just hide, just in case, because I don't really know what it is. Who is it? Tapping around. Okay, I think it stopped, so I might just go try to find some more fuses. Oh my gosh, I just remembered that the entire school bus went up in flames. Like, how do I think I'm actually gonna get out of here? Guess that's a problem for later. Probably a problem for when I'm not actively being chased by monsters. <laughs> it's actually kind of crazy that the only monster I've seen so far is blue. Like, I haven't seen green at all, and apparently orange came out of their cave, but, you know, I haven't seen any evidence of it. But I'm not complaining. One monster is completely enough for me to deal with. If all I have to do is evade blue, hide in my little dicey box, that is just fine by me. Oh my gosh, these fuses are actually a little bit harder to find than I anticipated. I've only got three and I need to find 14 of them. And this place is crawling with monsters. Uh-oh. Uh oh Oh no! Oh no! I think that's orange! I think that's orange! Oh my gosh! Looks like somebody forgot to feed orange. You've got to be joking. Orange has eaten all of those kibbles already? There were 15 bags of biscuits! You couldn't possibly go through all of those unless orange is really hungry. That tapping sound is freaky. What do I do? Do I just wait here? I feel like I gotta- Oh my gosh! There's orange! Well, they're actually like a velociraptor. They're like really, really fast. I don't think there's any way that I can outrun them, so I guess I can just hide. Although, are they gonna come back this way? Well, maybe I'm playing with fire here. I don't know if they're gonna like retrace their steps, or maybe this is just showing where they've already been. Maybe they're not gonna come back this way. Maybe I'll just hide in my box. Just box it up. Oh, okay, cool. Orange line is gone. I think that means I am safe for now. Got a whole heap of fuses to return. Uh oh, might just box up real quick. That's cool. <laughs> that was a close one. You can't see me, you can't see me, you can't see me. Off you go. Anyway, like I was saying, I got heaps of fuses. All the fuses you could ever want. Look, I'm gonna make this machine light up. I'm gonna make it light up. Wow. I think blue might be coming back. Maybe just a little box time. All right, if I were the last three fuses, where would I be? Do you think that my shadowy friend is actually going to let me out after I finish helping with this machine? Or, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, cool. That clears that up. Green is definitely on the map. That was actually so close. I like almost ran directly into them. It was cool. You know how when you go on a field trip, you usually have to write something about what you learned on the field trip? Maybe like your favorite part, your least favorite part. 
I'm going to say my favorite part of this field trip has been the safety afforded to me by my trusty dice. And I'm going to say my least favorite part of the field trip is probably the getting chased by monsters bit. It's like, I didn't actually know that was going to be part of the field trip. I might not have turned in my permission slip if I had known that. I kind of feel like everybody except for me got the memo because I'm the only one here. <gasps> Finally. Finally? That's a bit rude. I am trying to help you here. What does this machine do anyway? Wait, what's going on? That shouldn't be happening. That doesn't seem good. What? Is the machine okay? It's too dark to see. And now I've got night vision. Okay. Next night in 15 seconds? Does that mean I have to do this all over again? I am getting sick and tired of this. I need a bit of quiet time in my box. Looks like you'll have to turn the power back on. Looks like I have to do absolutely everything around here. Find a way to power up the backup generator. And then what? Who knows? Maybe I'll even let you all leave afterwards. Okay, that's a promise. That is a verbal agreement. I am holding you to that. You'll probably need these. Oh yeah, a flashlight. That does seem super helpful considering it is so dark in here. Uh, of course, I gotta find batteries. Okay, well, at least I've got this flashlight. Turn on fancy lighting. Yeah, that sounds good. Ah, oh, that's a lot better. Hopefully this lighting doesn't attract any of the rainbow friends. Although I kind of suspect it will because I have not been having the best luck so far, but at least now I have a promise. There's a verbal agreement. I will find the batteries, fix the generator, and you gotta let me go. One more battery to find, and then this field trip is over, and I am not going on any more. <gasps> Last battery. Okay, we can do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna fix the generator. I'm gonna get the power back on. Okay, just gotta sneak into theater. Pop the last battery in. Cool. Lights on. Okay, we're glowing. This seems like a good sign. A little hum of the generator. Yes, lights on. We did it. All right, I am ready to get out of here. Looks like we're back in business. That's right. You're welcome. You can thank me later. Thanks for turning the power back on. It's really no problem, but uh, I should be going. As a reward, I'm going to let you all go. Incredible news! I'll just show myself out. But first, I'm throwing you a goodbye party. Oh, don't go to any trouble. It's really not necessary. I hate parties. I'll just go. Seriously. Make sure you all redeem your party tickets. So you really just want to do the party? You're, you're sold on the party? Because I don't need a party. Okay, I think they're going to do the party. After the party, I'll let you all go. I promise. I mean, you say that, but you also said that if I fixed the generator, you'd let us all go. So, you know, uh, uh, promises have been made, promises have been broken, uh, but the, you know what, it's fine, it's fine, I'll, I'll party. Because it's like, what party is more fun than the one you're forced to attend? Like, yay. I'm so glad you could make it. I'm literally trapped, but sure. Get ready for some delicious goodbye cake. Did they poison the cake? Once everybody gets a slice of cake, I'll open the exit and you can all go home. Have fun in there. Nothing like a nice poison slice of cake to round out the weirdest field trip I think I've ever been on. Do you think they invited all the rainbow friends to my party? Oh, yep, there's blue. I'm confused, they're not moving. Is it the real blue or fake blue? Don't pop the balloons. Okay, because it sounded like somebody else just popped them. But oh my gosh, there goes Blue. <gasps> oh, maybe the popping the balloons wakes him up. Okay, that means we're going to have to be really careful. Oh no. Oh, he hated that. Oh no, I'm popping more. <laughs> okay, sorry, bud. Grab a slice of cake. <laughs> Let's oh no, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Where am I supposed to go? <laughs> I'm sorry I popped your balloon. I really didn't mean to. Here, have a, have a slice of cake. It's probably poison. But I'm happy to share. Oh, no? Okay, he's just retreating back there. Okay, this time... Gotta make sure we don't pop any balloons. Okay. Get my cake. Yum, yum. Uh-oh. Balloon coming down. Oh, no! Oh, no, no! That wasn't me! It wasn't me! They're just incredibly fragile balloons. Okay, that one was my fault. I did stomp directly on that one. Can he come this way? Uh, I don't think he can see me. Okay, I just 
just fell through the floor. Where am I? This looks like a different part of the facility. Does this mean that I finally get to escape? Maybe I am closer to escape than I've ever been before. Hey, look, a vent. Vents are usually a good way to escape. Okay, if I can just move these blocks. Okay, lots of footsteps coming. Come on, move the blocks. If I can just climb up the ramp. Okay, cool. Almost there. Okay, that doesn't sound good. Is there someone? Oh, yeah, there's Blue. But surely he can't get into the vent. I'm probably safe now that I'm in the vent. Although, scary music continues, so I'm gonna say that Blue is probably climbing through the vent. Oh, this doesn't look good. Where am I supposed to go? Okay, gotta backtrack just a little bit. Oh my gosh! <gasps> Blue, no! Remember who gave you the bickies? I'm cold, I'm scared, I'm tired, and I have been chased by some very scary monsters. Rainbow Friends theme park, zero out of 10, would not recommend to my worst enemy. Okay, what have we got here? An old guy cutting the fence. Blasted security measures. So he's not my first choice for an escape accomplice, but I guess he'll do. Hey bud, sorry to interrupt. Yeah, you with the giant scissors. What the, what in the world are you doing out here? I was chased around the theme park by monsters, different colored monsters, colors of the rainbow, some might say. Hmm. Monsters, you say? I'm sure it's just your imagination. Here, why don't you all help me find the SOS light? Every theme park has one. First of all, the monsters are not in my head. Second of all, why are you cutting a fence? And third, I am interested in the SOS light, yes. Meanwhile, in a creepy garage. Who's there? Uh-oh, it's Red. Oh no, and he's got a button. Bad things happen when Red's got a button. Unless it just innocently opens the garage door. Uh, or the garage is full of monsters. This is gonna be fun. I'll go get the others. What is this? I feel like I'm in the staff break room slash garbage area. Cannot imagine that I would find an SOS light here though, and I really would prefer a telephone. I'd like to call the police. Hello police, I would like to report a scary blue monster. In the absence of a working telephone, we will go with old mate's idea of setting up the SOS light. Inconvenient that the light bulbs are scattered all over the park and there are still monsters in here. At least I think there are. Oh, I think I hear one. Oh no, hide in the cactus. Do you hear that or am I just imagining that sound? Oh uh, no, it's green. Might just stay in the cactus until I feel safe. Oh my gosh, it's so creepy. I know he can't see me, but it feels like he's looking at me. Terrifying. Just now noticing that my cactus arms also kind of look like green's arms. Are we twinning? Nothing to see here, just a walking cactus innocently collecting SOS light bulbs. The good news, we're making progress on light bulbs. The bad news, I'm being chased by blue. Do you think this will fool him? Am I safe inside of my cactus? Oh no, he's still running at me. Oh no, maybe he saw me go inside the cactus and... <gasps> oh, okay. Or he's just gonna walk right through me. I like that. Safety cactus strikes again. What happened to that old man? And why isn't he helping me find all the light bulbs? I feel like I am doing all of the legwork here. My guy, pull your weight. Another light bulb, and oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. I'm basically doing park maintenance for free and I can't even do it efficiently because I keep being chased by monsters, having to retreat to the safety of the cactus. Yeah, that's right, get on out of here. Go play some laser tag or something. This cactus has important work to do. Just like stalking blue at a distance from inside my cactus. The cactus makes me bold. The cactus makes me brave, but it also makes me slow. Can't be wasting my whole life trying to find these light bulbs. And I think I've almost got all of them now. Uh, hey blue. I am not real. I am a figment of your imagination, Blue, and I'm about to disappear. If that old man can try to gaslight me into thinking that the monsters aren't real, maybe I can gaslight the monsters into thinking that I am not real. Let's hope the old man is right and this SOS light works. I think I've got all the bulbs. Now come on, somebody save us. Okay, looking promising. What do we got? What, it's just blue in the sky. It's like a rip off bat signal. Good of you to show up. Hey, did any of you hear? Hear the sound of the SOS light turning on? You're welcome. Wait, there was actually an SOS light? I mean, wow, you guys must be good at finding things. What do you mean there was actually an SOS light? I have been risking my neck all over the park with these guys. Is that blue? Yeah, but I've been trying to tell you. Oh no, coming here was a mistake. We need to find a way out of here, fast. So literally what I've been telling you since the second we met. Maybe this can help us bust out of here. Uh-oh, ominous yellow tootsies. And it can fly? Look who decided to show up. I'm surprised he got over his stage fright. So now I'm looking for gas canisters. I don't know if I can trust that old man. 
He didn't believe me about the monsters. He had me searching for an SOS light that he didn't know existed. Great, now there are even more monsters showing up to terrorize me. Oh, it's like a pterodactyl looking thing. Oh, it's like Blue's little pet, trotting behind him like a little dog. Yeah, you two go for a nice walk. Head to the uh, fence pterodactyl park. This cactus has some gas canisters to find. I really hope the old man isn't lying to me. I want to get out of this theme park. I am tired of being chased by monsters. What's this? Oh good, a new and interesting monster. Don't touch me with your snatchy hands. Okay, dope. Safe on that rock, apparently. Might just stay up here. That is so creepy, just like emerging out of the mist. If anybody knows who that monster is, can you let me know in the comment section, please? Ah, it's coming back. Maybe it's confined to the fog. And I hear footsteps. There's just monsters approaching from all angles. Is it gonna come down the stairs? Oh no, it's just blue walking up the stairs. If I were a gas canister, where would I be? Oh my gosh, pterodactyl. Okay, yellow is so creepy because they legit look like a dinosaur and that's very scary. Like green, a bit creepy, but essentially just a sight impaired pool noodle. I wanna know in the comment section which one of the rainbow friends you think is the scariest. Find some sort of color emoji to represent your chosen monster. And then I'll read through the comment section and cry. Booming footsteps like a T-Rex into my cactus. Is anyone else concerned about Blue's drooling? In some ways I like it because it kind of makes him less intimidating between that and like the Burger King crown. Uh oh, I think you see me. I think I almost have all the gas canisters. One step closer to freedom. Don't want to get unalive when I'm so close to freedom. I put on my safety cactus. Just a cactus handling some canisters of flammable material. Oh no, I still have two more. No. This would be so much easier if the park just had a supply cupboard. Oh my gosh, to safety. That was handy, obsessed. Oh, I'm still going. A nice aerial view of the park, which I hate and will never be returning to. I prefer parks where monsters don't chase me. Final gas canisters, let's get it. All right, old man, this better work. Let's hope this works. Bug, it is fully your plan. Are we using a giant drill to open this door? Is that what's happening? What the? Look out! Oof, that looked painful. He's all right! The man, the myth, the legend, he's on top of a tower. Whoa, how'd I get up here? I'm gonna go ahead and say that it probably has something to do with the Rainbow Friends. Probably Red. He's a sneaky little sneakster. All right, everybody. Let's try this again. Aw, that's a bit cute. Collect all of those lookies you just released and I'll let the old man live. Okay, that's less cute. Oh, and this time there's a timer. Poor little lookies lost all over the park. I know how it feels. Red is acting completely unhinged. Obviously, I didn't mean to release the lookies. I was just trying to escape. Like, I would round them up if he asked nicely. He doesn't need to threaten to blow up an old man. Danger, danger, become a cactus. Blue, no need to make things more difficult than they have to be. I'm actually trying to do something for red here. I'm trying to round up all the lookies. So I finally found a lookie, but it seems like I can only carry one at a time, which is inconvenient because I have to individually escort them back to the pen. Yeah, I can't pick that one up. That's all right, I'll come back for you. Don't worry, little lookies. Oh my gosh, there's another one. Okay, come here, come here, in the pen. Let's get you home, little bud. Uh-oh, it's blue, it's cactus time. Oh no, I dropped my lookie. Why can't my lookie also hide under the cactus with me? Oh my gosh, blue's like stuck in the wall. <laughs> Just get out of here. I need to get my lucky. He's rolling away. Oh no, did he see me again? Oh my gosh. Okay, let's just do that again. Just get out of eyesight. Forever putting on the cactus suit. Taking off the cactus suit. It's endless. What do we think the lookies are anyway? They like look pretty much exactly like Red's head, but are they like babies? Are they gonna grow up into baby Reds? Oh my gosh. Hide. Oh no, he's got me. How did he get me? I've been captured. I've been captured by Yellow. What's your plan here? What's, what's he gonna do with me? Where are you taking me? Uh oh, <gasps> okay, that was unexpected. Don't jump until you find a safe place to land. Old man just shouting advice at me from his tower. Obviously I'm not going to jump. I would never survive a fall like that. Uh oh, he's taking me to his nest. This isn't good. Oh, right, okay, I got it. That's the end of me. My brand new white unicorn coloring book is now available on Amazon. Follow the link in the description. So hot tip, I guess, don't get caught by yellow. He'll take you to his nest and feed you to his babies. Still have three more lookies to find. Okay, make that two more lookies, but I feel like I might be running out of time. Ooh, mushrooms. Hey, old man, you doing all right up there? Uh-oh, what's Red doing? Please be the garage door opener. So things are not looking good for the old man. Goodbye, my friend. I'm sorry about the explosion. Oh, unless it's just a firework display. More unhinged behavior from Red. He threatens to blow up an old man and then puts on a pyrotechnic display. 
Red, you got anything to say for yourself? I bet the Lookies are not very impressed with this. Look at his face. He's so sad. He hates it when you threaten to explode the elderly. You know I'm right. What are you looking at? What's happening here? Oh my gosh, old man just coming off the giant drop. Super casual, like he hasn't just evaded death. Me in my cactus suit. He'll never recognize me. Don't worry, I'm okay. There's no time to waste. I don't know who you're talking to, I'm just a cactus. My first escape plan failed, but there's actually one more way to get out of here. This better be good, because your previous plans have been dog poop. There's a way out through the orange roller coaster. We just need to find a way to get this looky to move. If only we could find some cake around here. He'd do anything for a slice of cake. Something that we have in common. Hmm. Look, this is a theme park. There's got to be some sweeties around here somewhere. That's not a sweetie. That's a ladybug. And who's this? Introducing a new monster. I think we're introducing a new monster. Cyan? I wonder why she's so interested in that bug. I don't know, Red. Has it ever occurred to you that maybe Cyan has an interest in the wonder of nature? Okay, found a bag of sugar, but apparently there's danger nearby. I might just put on my cactus just in case. Thank goodness. After my first trip to the nest, I am not looking to repeat that anytime soon. And also, I need to find some sugar. Are we gonna bake this looky... A cake? Oh my gosh, <laughs> that looks like what we're doing. A treaty for my little round sweeties. How sweet is this cake gonna be if I need nine bags of sugar? I don't even know if it'll bake. It'll just be like a round, uh oh, baking plants on hold. I need to hide, 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 hide. Oh, this is a good hiding spot. Just keep walking. I've disappeared. That's right, nothing to see here. You would think six bags of sugar would be plenty, but uh oh, can they see me if I'm up here? No need to risk it. Might just wait until they're out of sight. Oh my gosh, blue and cyan. This is a high traffic monster area. Are they gonna walk right into me? I'm about as far over as I can get. Oh, this is so nerve wracking. Cyan is kind of giving like hammerhead shark crossed with a dinosaur. I am not a fan. How long is this cake gonna take to bake? I feel like I've been stuck in here for days. I'm not really feeling like getting creative in the kitchen. Oh, I'm sorry, but Blue must not be very smart because it's like every time he sees me, I disappear and then there's a cactus and it never seems to twig that I am the cactus. I mean, I'm not complaining. It's hard enough to avoid really dumb monsters. I don't want smart monsters. Oh my gosh, they're coming. Oh, whoa, those teeth. Holy cow, that was terrifying. Finally finished procuring like five kilos of sugar. Now this becomes a baking show. What are we gonna be cooking? Head to the comment section to leave your suggestions for the best type of cake to distract a looky. I went for a classic vanilla sponge. Let's see if it works. Okay, he's interested. He's eating the cake. Finally, one of the old man's plans comes good. Come on, hurry. It worked. Let's go. Yeah, I'm pretty shocked that this plan's working out so far. Does anyone else think it's weird that Red put a looky in charge of guarding the exit? Like, as far as I can tell, the lookies are just like cute and harmless and Red has like an army of monsters. Choices were made. Okay, into the crystal caverns. My dude, we are getting out of this godforsaken theme park and then you have to explain to me why you're here and who you are because I feel like I'm missing a lot of crucial information. Are we worried that it's been a while since this roller coaster's last safety check? All right, everybody, pick a cart and get in. I programmed a cart up ahead that will lead you to the maintenance exit. Make sure you lean your body to follow that cart. Lean my body like this? Oh my gosh, this is not a good system. What about a steering wheel or a lever? Really anything other than the leaning system. I feel like I'm gonna tip the cart over. Oh my gosh, I am gonna get to go on a ride though, which is pretty exciting. I have been stuck in this theme park for so long and I haven't gone on a single ride. So if I get to escape the theme park on a ride, that's actually kind of dope. Wow, look at the crystal caverns. This is good stuff. This is like easily the best part of the theme park so far. My favorite bit is how there's nothing chasing me down like I am prey. Leaning is safe, says the sign. Don't worry, you can't fall off. Lol, they're totally reading my mind. All right, got it. We're gonna lean into leaning. So far, so good, but I've got a feeling that it can't be this easy. Hey, what's up there? That looks like a cake. Who left this cake here? It wouldn't have been one of the lookies. They would have just eaten the cake. Wow, I'm so hungry. I wish I could eat the cake. Should have had a slice when I had a chance. I kind of thought there'd be more Rainbow Friends themed stuff on the ride, but I guess not. Oh no, here we go. Look. It's orange, he's chasing his cake, and okay, that's realistic. Is that an animatronic or, oh no, that's Cyan. Let's get out of here. Things have escalated. The rainbow friends now know that we have found the exit. They're probably reporting to Red as we speak. And the real orange is here, oh good. All right, now we're picking up some speed. Just gotta follow that cart. Oh my gosh, there's lookies everywhere. Hate it when the cart slows down. Only want the cart to go faster. Oh my gosh, loop-de-loop. -loop. <laughs> 
can't believe we made that loop. I thought we needed to be going way faster. But I'm not gonna complain. Uh-oh. Lava. Avoid the lava. No, I'm going too slow. I'm gonna lose the cart. I gotta keep it in sight. Otherwise, how am I supposed to know which way to go? Okay, danger ahead. Turn back. Seriously, turn back. What the? Oh my gosh, we're going straight up into the sky. How is that even possible? Okay, we are gonna be going really fast down the mine shaft. Not gonna lie, this would be a super sick ride if I wasn't also trying to avoid the horrors. At least I didn't have to buy a ticket, though, so we like that. Okay, follow those lookies. Wait, I just realized, where was the old man? Why didn't he get in the cart? Okay, there's blue. Which way do we go? To the garden! Oh no! That was a close one. Now that the rainbow friends know that I'm on the minecart ride, what's stopping them from just meeting me at the end? And how am I supposed to know where the exit is? The old man said that he programmed the cart to take us to the maintenance exit. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! They keep appearing ahead of the track. They must know which way we're going. I've just got this feeling that when we get to the maintenance exit, they're gonna be here waiting for us. Thanks for visiting. What? So this is the end of the ride, and there's Cyan. Great! Okay, we got no choice. We have to go to the under construction area. And into the garbage chute? Look, it's not ideal, but if the way out of here is in garbage, I'm taking it. Bit of a rough landing, but at least I'm not covered in garbage. And as a bonus, it doesn't look like any monsters are waiting for me. I don't know where the old man is, but I shan't be waiting. <gasps> okay, that's not good. Right, so if I thought Cyan was scary before, now she is angry because she's fallen down a garbage chute. I wish I was a looky, just floating down the water line. The lookies don't have to avoid monsters, they just roll around and eat cake. How does it feel to live my dream? Pretty sure that sound was Cyan busting through the wreckage, but I do not dare look behind me. I have to run. There is literally not a sec to spare, Cyan is right behind me. It would be really helpful if I knew where I was going. I'm just kind of going for anywhere that looks like it's not completely blocked by obstacles. Oh my gosh, crouch, 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 yes! Ah, there they are! Okay, I don't think they can fit underneath. They're retreating. She's retreating! Am I finally safe? And I'm not talking about cactus safe, I'm talking about real safe. Only one way to find out, to the surface. I did it, I survived! Bring on chapter three. You're probably wondering how I ended up at such a strange facility. Well, it all started when these four monsters, I think they called themselves the Rainbow Friends, they invited me to come down to their facility and I was like, well, that sounds nice and normal and I'm sure nothing strange will happen. So I said, yes. Oh yeah, there's some of them now. That's orange, that's blue. Waving there, he's real friendly. He's got his little crown on. Kind of looks like one of those crowns that you get in a Christmas cracker. So I met the Rainbow Friends and I was like, wow, these seem like a really interesting bunch of monsters. Like, look at Blue down there. He's always looking so friendly. Big happy smile, arm waving. And look, he's left me heaps and heaps of balloons. Wow, this is so nice. It Ow. Hey, Blue, what just happened? Okay, disturbing development, friends. I think that these might actually be poisonous balloons. But I'm sure that my friend Blue didn't leave poisonous balloons out here on purpose, so I'll just avoid these ones. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. I am starting to wonder where my friends, the rainbow friends are though. They must be behind one of these doors. Hmm. Hello friends, ow! Friend, why would you make your door so dangerous? All right, I'm sure this is a surprise to you, but I'm starting to get a little bit suspicious about what's going on in this facility. Hmm, a strange office <gasps> with a secret passageway. All right, I am thinking that perhaps my rainbow friends aren't exactly who they're claiming to be. I mean, for example, they didn't actually mention that they had um, some sort of weird underground mine situation happening below the facility. So that's a surprise to me. Like, what kind of mine is this? What are they digging for down here? All right, strange green glow. Interesting. I'm just starting to get this feeling my new friends might be up to something. Okay, that's quite a lot of radioactive looking sludge. Nothing around here, though. That's weird. It's like it's protecting nothing. Ouch! Okay, I was wondering if the radioactive sludge was dangerous, and I guess that answers my question. This is so strange, though. What are they digging for down here? I feel like they're either looking for something or they're hiding something. I will keep you abreast of any developments. I have noticed that I'm not the only one running around this facility. Like, the Rainbow Friends have clearly invited some more potential friends to come down to the facility tonight, but then they didn't even come to greet us. We're just here all by ourselves, aren't we, Chiro? Like, I thought that the Rainbow Friends would be here to greet us, to welcome us to the facility, maybe offer us some hot chips or other kind of snacky, maybe introduce us to some of the other friends. But instead, it was just really weird. It was like, doors wide open, come on in. Now you're running around a mine that's full of radioactive goo. 
And like, obviously I don't mean to complain. It was very nice of them to invite me to their facility. Um, but I am kind of wondering what the point of all this is. Oh my gosh, did that river just overflow? <gasps> oh my gosh, we've got some riverine flooding. Looks as though this castle has been built on a natural floodplain. And as I'm sure you're all aware, the Rainbow Friends facility has been experiencing some heavy rain um, due to climate change and um, La Nina. And floodwaters are so dangerous. I don't want to touch them for a second. They are a breeding ground for bacteria. I could get like seriously ill even just by touching that water. I could even perish. Um, so I'm just going to get out of here. I get out of the flood zone as quickly as possible into uh, the next zone. This looks like another flood zone. Okay, looks like the flooding's actually a little bit worse than I expected, and it has spread to the facility, so we've definitely got some flood damage happening in here. Um, light bulbs in the water seems pretty dangerous to me, but luckily I've made it across okay. Um, if I was hoping that things were gonna get less dangerous, I, um, definitely did not get my wish. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now it's like we've got, like, floods going on still, um, but now it's like the flood water has mixed with the tanks of radioactive waste, these, like, barrels of waste. Um, so that's a terrible combo. So now it's like full of bacteria and also, um, I don't know, dangerous chemicals. Oh, hey, it's my friend Orange. They definitely said they were going to come hang out with me today. Maybe they're over here. Don't let Blue hug you. He might be hungry. I mean, all the more reason to have ample snackies. If Blue's hungry, why doesn't he just break out the nachos and some seven layer dip? I'm going to see if I can find the kitchen facilities through these vents. Maybe the reason that Blue hasn't come and greeted me yet is because he's actually so hungry. He like can't even face me. He's like fully hangry. Um, so maybe if I can find the kitchen, get some snackies, I could put them in the theater. Maybe I can lure out the rainbow friends. And then maybe all of us can become friends. Like obviously I've heard some kind of weird bad things about the rainbow friends. You know, somebody goes to visit their facility and then they're never heard from again. But you don't want to believe every rumor you hear. So I was like, I just want to give them the benefit of the doubt. I'll show up at the facility. You know, we can break bread together. We can run through the vents. Um, we can pop some balloons and avoid some radioactive waste together. And perhaps at the end of all that, we'll be buds. Or perhaps they'll take me to a room with giant rotating table saws. Okay, perhaps I'm in the woodworking studio. I'm sure that's all this is. This is just a perfectly normal woodworking studio where blue and orange and purple and green, they just, they love um, to create small wooden race cars um, and beautiful fruit bowls, okay? There's nothing, nothing sinister going on here at all. Just a lovely little woodworking project between friends. In fact, I might start thinking about some projects that I can make. Might build myself a little birdhouse. I could make one for each of the rainbow friends. I could paint them each a color for each of the rainbow friends. Oh, okay. Huh, this is not what I was expecting. Um, sure is a lot of strawberry jam on the ground. Hey, Al, why would my friends do this to me? My head's rolling away. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie to you. This actually looks pretty scary and I'm starting to wonder why have none of my friends showed up? Where are my rainbow friends? It's like that is just a cardboard cutout. Imagine if your friend invited you over to their house and you get there and there's nobody there. There's just life-size cardboard cutouts of them scattered around the house. You'd be pretty weirded out. Like, obviously I'm doing my best to be understanding here. I'm like, yeah, they're a little bit late. Yeah, the house is full of toxic waste, but you know, I don't know their personal situation. I don't know their life circumstances. These are after all my new rainbow friends. Ow! Oh my gosh. <gasps> I have really come to a lot of harm in this house today. That's my only complaint. Lots of things that can apparently take me out, including like these footprints on the ground, which I didn't know I was gonna have to avoid. Oh, no, oh no, everything. Everything makes me fall to pieces. Okay, well, let's try that one more time. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't the footprints that made me fall to pieces. I might try that one more time. Just follow them real carefully. Okay, I think we've cracked it. Just gotta be exceptionally careful. Okay, where are my friends? It's another cave, okay? More cardboard cutouts of blue and orange and all of my friends. It's a really strange approach they've taken here. I thought they actually wanted to hang out with me and it turns out they just wanted to ghost me and leave cardboard cutouts all over the house. I feel like they're playing some sort of elaborate trick on me and I'm not quite sure what to make of it. But I am determined to find them and get to the bottom of this. Orange's hideout. Okay, but like, where are they? 
back in the flooded building. This is going to be very expensive to fix, I can already tell. Maybe the rainbow friends left because of the flooding. Maybe they thought it was dangerous and then they just like forgot to tell me. Maybe their cell phones fell into the flood zone. Like, obviously, it's a little bit weird that they didn't try to get a hold of me at all. Leave a note, maybe, on the front door. Kind of have to go to the bathroom. Oh, door's locked. Okay, sign says, don't pop the balloons. No problem. No jumping, no popping. <gasps> what? You're, you're worried about me harming the balloons? The balloons are out to get me. I, like, didn't even touch that balloon. I need to try to figure out how to get around them. Oh, my gosh. I, like, I swear I, like, barely, barely even got close to it. Okay, I'm, I am gonna try to not pop the balloons because even though that I'm, I'm like pretty I'm starting to get a little bit upset at Blue for standing me up like this, it's still, you know, I don't want to take it out on the balloons. It's not their fault. Oh, well, okay, so flooding has gone to a whole new level. <gasps> wow, okay, we have got some serious water damage coming into the room here. I honestly think that this might be the most reasonable explanation about why my friends have stood me up because otherwise um, it just kind of feels like maybe they don't want to be friends with me anymore. And that's a pretty sad thing to think about. Everybody knows that it's an important stage in a new friendship when you invite your new friend over to your facility. You know, you're like, this is my flood zone. These are the balloons you're not allowed to pop. If you pop them, I will end you. And that's how you make a new rainbow friend. What's this? Hmm. I thought I was about to find a secret object, a secret special object. Maybe get a secret special badge, but no such luck. <gasps> Wait a second. I'm, I'm out of the facility but I never found my rainbow friends. I think I'm gonna cry. 